all right guys so um let's pick up from our last tutorial and uh we were able to create a file and then upload it online um directly not manually so it was an automatic process in the background and uh, we were able to open our project file from directly on the splice.com website and also through the splice desktop application okay so right now what we want to check is if we can delete files at the same time um, let's say you have a file saved here on your local drive and mistakenly you delete that file what's going to happen so that's what i'm going to do right now so let me click on that press shift at the same time to make sure that we permanently delete this file on my local drive so once again um you can see that the file is gone here but this doesn't show anything so let me close this application right now so here you can see that we only have one file once again because uh, i've deleted it right here on my local drive okay but if i refresh this splice window we still have uh the two files right here so what we can do let's make sure that this list is really accurate is restart the application again so here i've restarted the application and my tutorial example file is still here so the thing is because we still have it online even if we remove it anytime we restart the application we're going to have a file referencing our online copy so if i click on open and i want you to be sure that there is nothing here we've permanently deleted uh, our local file so if i click on open it's going to download whatever version we have here and drop it in this folder once again so let's see this in real time i click on open downloading and there we have it and FL Studio is also opening so it's all working like it's really in sync uh, the local desktop uh, the local file and uh, on the clouds on splice platform all right so now once again we have it right here keep in mind that uh, when you hover on uh, on the file you can also view it directly online so for instance if i click on this one right here the leave it up remix i have this and all my uh the full playlist information and my description and stuff like that and then i can also click on this one right here show on web and it's going to direct me to that same uh, project page what i can do here is delete this one online and see what happens if I maintain a local copy on my PC but I delete the online copy what's going to happen so to delete a project on the splice websites what you can do is click on it then you go over to settings you scroll down and you click on delete these projects so here they clearly explain is going to remove this file from our project list but the file on the computer will not be affected so it's two different things they just talk to each other okay it's two different things right here so when you press uh, you click on delete it can take uh, maybe five seconds before the page reloads so just be patient all right so again i'm going to click on studio and i only have one file online okay so let's check again I'm gonna uh, restart the splice application and it's possible that you don't need to restart it all the time but that's just what I like to do okay just to make sure that I have uh, the live information so it's checking for updates here we have our list I'm gonna refresh this online page right here all right so uh, the easy trick if uh, you have a file right here in your folder for instance but then you don't have it uh, on the online platform the easy thing is simply to copy this file you may remove it and then 
paste it back in your folder or save it again in your folder so here I have this file I'm gonna cut it you know what actually I'm probably going to open this right and then I'm gonna go to save as and overwrite it so now we have save is synchronizing right here and it's updating the file so if I go back online I refresh and I have it back here again so the only thing we had to do was overwrite the file for splice to be notified because it's keeping an eye on the folder and then upload it back to the splice.com websites automatically so I hope this is clear to you um, let me recap quickly so anytime we want to upload a file online we just save it right here um, the second takeaway is if we delete a file um, locally we can always uh, get it from the online uh, repository or if we delete a file online and we still have it locally we can overwrite the file on our local uh, drive and supplies will be notified and will upload it back on the online platform all right so i hope this all makes sense to you make sure you also subscribe like this video share it and i'll see you guys